Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, August 2nd. And today I'm going to give a short recap of the sermon from yesterday, Sunday, uh, because uh, on our live broadcast and recording of the service yesterday, there were some major audio issues uh, that made it unusable and people were unable to hear the service. <clears throat> so the theme of yesterday's sermon was, uh, this is not as good as life gets. And we touched on three things. Uh, the story of uh, the ancient Israelites during the Exodus and how God provided them uh, manna, bread from heaven to eat. Then the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 people with uh, just five loaves of bread and two fish. And then finally, uh, a movie uh, that is actually titled As Good As It Gets that starred Jack Nicholson, uh, Helen Hunt, and Greg Kinnear. And each of those stories actually talks about uh, the expectations of the people in the stories and how although they they were uh, going through life and experiencing some successes and, and some happiness. Uh, they, they all thought that this was as good as it was gonna get. That whatever they uh, had been dealt in life is, is all that they were gonna have and they were just gonna have to deal with it the best we can. And in the movie, uh, Jack Nicholson is an obsessive compulsive person who, whose world is very limited uh, to a small couple block radius around the apartment he lives in. And Greg Kinnear's character is an artist who uh, is gay and it was and is beaten because of that uh, almost fatally and, and suffers uh, great physical wounds as well as uh, psychological and emotional wounds uh, that prevents him from creating art anymore. And the Helen Hunt character is a waitress at uh, the diner that Jack Nicholson actually makes it out to every day. <clears throat> and she is working this job because it allows her a lot of time to stay home and care for her chronically ill child. And each one of those characters in that movie have some great difficulties in life that they must deal with. And they all think, well, this is as good as it's gonna get and I'll just make the best of it. In the Old Testament story, uh, about the exodus of the people after they came out of slavery in Egypt. Uh, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of these people who are now uh, wandering through the desert led by Moses. And every day they had to have something to eat. And God provided them something to eat. He provided them uh, bread from heaven that we know as, as manna. But this wasn't good enough for the people. They got tired of that very quickly, just bread. And so they complained against God and, and said, is, is this all we're going to get? And God said, oh, okay, well, I hear you cry, so I'll send quail to you every night. You can have quail every morning. You can collect bread. And the people were happy for a while, but then became disillusioned or uh, upset with that, wanted more, and, and complained again. As a matter of fact, when they were given the manna from heaven, it, it appeared uh, during the night uh, on the ground when the dew dried, dried up, uh, a white flaky substance, it says, was left behind and the people were, were to go and gather it, and that was uh, the bread they were supposed to eat. But uh, they would look at this white flaky stuff left on the ground after the morning dew dried up and and they simply said, what's that? Which is what the word manna actually means. They didn't even know what it was. They didn't, that wasn't their idea of what they were wanting or what they were expecting from God. But that's what they had, bread and quail. So they made the best of it. Fast forward 1000 years later after that manna experience in the desert and we find Jesus uh, with a crowd, uh, another large crowd of people, five, possibly 10,000 people that he had spoken to and then fed with bread and fish from this very small amount that they started out with. And, and these people continue to follow Jesus. And after a while, Jesus turns to them and say, are, are you following me just because you received a, a free meal from me? 
He said, you know, I'll, I'll always feed you that way. But there's so much more I want to offer you. Can't you see that? That bread and fish or manna from heaven or whatever difficulty we have in life. Life is so much better than that. That that is not as good as it's going to get. And the lesson for us is to learn that no matter what we are going through in life, the joys that we experience, the highs that we know, the very lows that we experience, the grief, the disappointment, the upset, the, the betrayal, that is not as good as it's going to get for us either. We know and, and say all the time that the, the greatest gift we can know is to know God's presence in our lives. That presence that will see us through any situation, that will walk with us hand in hand and bring us through, lead us through and be our friend. But God continues to say to us, that's not even it either. That's not as good as it gets either. Because the things I have in plan for you, the things I would like to give you, the things I know you can do because I'm the one who created you, that's what you can look forward to. So as we go into this day and another week, let's try to see in our lives how we are being led through all the situations, all the difficulties, all the joys we experience. And remember that God is the ultimate giver of all things. Will you pray with me, please? Holy God, you are the source and sustainer of, of our lives. Help us to understand that no matter what we go through in life, you are there with us. Help us to see that there are always greener pastures and bigger things than we could ever imagine that you are, are leading us toward. And help us to know that no matter where we go in life, you are there. Not only holding us, but all those around us, all those we carry in our hearts, all those we don't even know. For you created everything and everything is in your care. Amen.